P-I-R-A-T-E in your activities tab of your Beanstack account. Sound good? Yay. So, are you ready to learn about treasure? Yeah? Okay, if you're ready to learn about treasure, rub your belly in a circle. Very good. All right, now add your hand. Can you pat your head and rub your belly? Whoa, I'm not doing it. Whoa, I think I got it. Do you got it at home? Oh, no, I'm not. Well, it takes a lot of thinking and focus, right? Well, now that we've activated our focus and our warmed up our brains, let's turn on our listening ears. And now we're ready for our story. So, let's see. As you can see here, we have some treasure. We have a treasure chest, which I'm going to get into more later. But when you think about treasure, usually you think about jewels, gems, pirates, and stuff like that. Um, but can treasure be more than just that? Hmm. Can it be people? ourselves? Can it be our the love that we have for our family and our friends? For our community? And that's the direction that I'm going in today. So um, to get started, uh, I want you to think about that. And I'm going to read this book written by Tay Diggs. And it's called I Love You More Than. So see if you can find the treasure in this book as I read along. I Love You More Than by Tay Diggs and illustrated by Shane E. Evans. My child, I am not always with you as much as I'd like. Yes. There's his child. And when we're not together, I miss you. You are always running around in my mind and chilling inside my heart. Um. These are the times I like to think about how much I love you. I love you more than I love dancing, but I love making up moves and moonwalking with you. Snap, snap, to our favorite snappy songs. I love you more than I love singing, but I love to belt out your favorite la 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 lullaby before you fall asleep. I love 
love you more than I love going to the movies, but I love how you look in those 3D glasses. Uh, that's pretty cool. When we check out a booming big space action flick. Oh, that looks like fun. I love you more than I love the beach. But I love the footprints your little feet make when I'm chasing you through the sand. Tag, you're it. Whoa. I love you more than I love eating, but I love going to breakfast with you. We get pounds of pancakes and apple juice. Sometimes I'll mix the juice with water so it's not so sweet. Look at this, all you can eat pancakes. Wow, and all these different flavors. Whoa, that's a lot of pancakes, huh? They must treasure pancakes. I love you more than all my sneakers, but I love how you look and your cool little kicks. They make you run so super fast. Maybe sneakers can be treasures too. I love you more than New York City. But I love riding the subway with you and taking our time talking on our way to school. I love you more than so many things. I love you more than everything. I love you. I love you. I just love you. I just love you. treasure of all for the, uh, the writer in this book, the narrator. His child, yes, yes. Our parents, our grown-ups, our kids, they're all treasures. Our family are treasures. So um, before I read you the next book, I'm going to show you what is in my treasure box. So. As we talked about, we, when we think about treasure, we sometimes think about jewels and uh, pearls and whatnot, shiny things, stuff, maybe like our phones or our, I don't know, our video games or our little cars. I know my son loves his little cars and um, maybe our dolls and stuff like that. But in my treasure box, you want to come closer so in my treasure box um, as you can see there are some things there are uh, first picture of my mom this is my mommy and she would always talk in dichos so proverbs um, proverbs are like well I'll give you an example like this page El pájaro que se levanta temprano agarra primero el gusano. The early bird gets the worms. The worm. So, dichos proverbs are like little sayings that teach us things. Teach us how to be in the world. So she would always talk in proverbs. And, let's see what else. In this box I have a picture of my son. When he turned three. He is my little treasure. And I also have 
has a keepsake, his little shoes, his first shoes. Because he was born in the winter and it was very, very cold. So his first little shoes. And I also have some sage. This is a plant, it's an herb uh, that's used as medicine to, you can burn it and it cleanses the space, um, cleanses the air, the energy in, in your uh, room or your home. So those are some of the things that I brought today to show you um, the different kinds of treasure there are. Okay, and we're back. Welcome back, friends. So we're ready to read our next book. Let's turn on our listening ears one more time and dig into this one, Brown Baby Lullaby. Well, in this book, the treasure is, again, well, you'll see. I won't give it away. But I think you might be able to tell by the title. This book is by Tamika Fryer Brown. Brown Baby Lullaby. Oh, and it's illustrated by A.G. Ford. Oh, what a beautiful setting. This is where the story takes place. And here are the characters. This family. Look, mi hijo, at the sun. Mi hijo means my son. Look, mi hijo, at the sun. Setting now that the day is done. Moonlight's breaking. Night's begun. Oh, sweet picnic time. Come, my sweet brown baby. baby is a treasure? Yeah, the baby is the treasure. One of the treasures. Zoom through every open door, round the room and hit the floor. Bounce back up and zoom some more. Slow down, busy baby. There he goes. Muy activo. That means very active. In you go, hush now, here's your lovely, oh, no, no, baby, we don't throw, no, no, antsy baby, oh, look, the baby threw its bottle, what? I'm trying to get mama's attention. Pots and pans all scattered around, right side up and upside down. Clanging, banging, noisy sound, noisy, rowdy baby. Ooh, that's so much fun, banging the pots. Time to put the pots away, bring them out some other day. Tired tears mean no more play. Vamos, fussy baby, let's go. Oh, the baby's crying. Oh, look, daddy's putting food on the table. Mommy's comforting the baby. Hands together as we bless food that will wind up a mess. Uh-oh, we're about to see the mess. Whoa. That's okay. You're learning, yes? Independent baby. Look, that baby can feed him or herself. Pour the cups and sink the sub. Grab, the, grab a sponge to squeeze and rub. Keep some agua in the tub, silly splashy baby. Look at all this water is splashing out. Agua means water. Yeah, baby sure looks happy though, and so does parents. Yummy tummy kissy cheeks, tight black curls with glossy streaks, clean and fresh and toddler chic, one enchanting baby. Aww. 
two brown eyes, one brown nose, ten brown fingers, ten brown toes. Love and cherish all of those. Puppy's brilliant baby. Puppy means dad. Oh, he is treasuring his baby. Rub your eyes to Coltrane's song. Babble, clap, and stomp along. Fight that Sandman till he's gone. Strong-willed, sleepy baby. Songs can be treasures, too. Find your favorite book, and then Mama reads it once again. What can be a treasure? Lie down and tuck you in. Buenas noches, baby. Good night. We love you. Sweet brown baby. And yay. So as you can see, treasure is not just these jewels and material things, but there are families and the love that we have for one another. Um, and then these especially, I wanted to showcase because they're written by black authors and showcasing black families. And this was our, just a small way that we can show our support for all people right now who are struggling for justice. So thank you all for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Hasta luego. Goodbye.